and to have to have this discussion in the context of honoring a technology that created a bomb i think really raises questions about where we are with this country and where we are with the bomb the splitting of the atom and the use of the split atom to create an atomic bomb actually the speaks a split consciousness in this country it was in a sense an intensification of dichotomized thinking of us versus them whoever they are we then decided that all of our problems in humanity could be solved by technology that the bomb then was put in in place of reason that the bomb was put in place of diplomacy that the bomb was put in place of talking with each other and settling our differences no the bomb then became the metaphor for how technology rules over humanity we're captives of of our own machines now mr chairman i remember as a young person going to elementary school that children would have to do drills called duck and cover because we believed that the united states was going to be targeted by uh, by nuclear weapons launched by the soviet union the fear drove an entire generation's dreams the fear caused the united states to spend un, you know trillions of dollars on a cold war that took away from the needs of the people the fear resides in the world today when there are some who urge an attack on iran why because they are said to be developing a nuclear weapon where does this stop we cannot honor this technology we cannot celebrate ingenuity that was used to put all of humanity at risk we have to begin to reassess who we are as human beings and ask ourselves whether or not we have essentially reach the limits of our ability to develop technology which we can control and it's not only about nuclear weapons when you learn that the that the globe itself is experiencing tremendous upset because of 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 the human activity when you learn that science can now create genetically modified organisms that can change the nature of food as a matter of fact life itself can be changed through cloning we we act as these mini gods who can endlessly tinker with our planet and and life itself and then name parks after it no in the scheme of things someone will say dennis you know this is just a park what are you getting so excited about this is about naming a new national park after the manhattan project and we have to just stop and reflect on where this takes us there should be a discussion about the full legacy of the manhattan project including its devastating effects upon the japanese people and upon the rest of the world if there was going to be a new park it should serve as a solemn monument to japanese american friendship that rose from the ashes and the worldwide work for nuclear disarmament that continues to this day rather than a celebration of a technology what has brought such destruction to the world now a failure to to recognize this dimension even in its first iteration really is a significant injustice i looked at the uh crs report on this and th there's no mention of how this is going to be framed or phrased the museum at los alamos is a celebration of the triumph of technology over humanity it's a powerful illustration that we're developing technology at a rate that far exceeds our ability to manage it now we are faced with the choice to memorialize this point of view into a national park i would ask how much time i have left the gentleman has four and a half minutes in the last four and a half minutes 
I want to uh, read a poem by Henry Reid. It's called The Naming of Parts. And what he does, he, justif he, he juxtaposes in this poem Japan before the dropping of the bomb and the technical aspects of the bomb itself. It's worth uh, reading for this discussion. He calls it the naming of parts. Today we have the naming of parts. Yesterday we had daily cleaning, and tomorrow morning we shall have what to do after firing. But today, today we have the naming of parts. Japonica glistens like coral in all of the neighboring gardens. Today we have the naming of parts. This is the lower sling swivel, and this is the upper sling swivel, whose use you will see when you are given your slings. This is the piling swivel, which in your case you have not got. The branches hold in the gardens their silent, eloquent gestures, which in our case we have not got. This is the safety catch, which is also released with an easy flick of the thumb. And please do not let me see anyone using his finger. You can do it easily if you have strength in your thumb. The blossoms are fragile and motionless, never letting anyone see any of them using their finger. Oh, and, and this you can see is the bolt. The purpose of this is to open the breech as you see it. We can slide it rapidly backwards and forwards. We call this easing the spring. And rapidly backwards and forwards, the early bees are assaulting and fumbling the flowers. They call it easing the spring. They call it easing the spring. And it's perfectly easy if you have any strength in your thumb like the bolt and the breech and the cocking piece and the point of balance which in our case we have not got, and almond blossom silent in all of the gardens and the bees going backwards and forwards. For today we have the naming of parts. We're naming a park today. Yesterday we had the naming of parts. And not just Japan but our humanity was obliterated. Uh, do we get a chance to reclaim it? I reserve the balance of my time.